Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slice That Price. My name is Cameron Bowen, and today we have Ball State's very own first lady, Jennifer Mertz. Great to be here. Jennifer, what have we got prepared for us today? Well, we're going to make some Thanksgiving stuffing. We've got Thanksgiving coming around the corner, and we're going to make some, my mother's special recipe. Beautiful. Let's get started. All right, so what ingredients will we be incorporating into the stuffing? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We've got some pure white bread, a yellow onion. We've got some chicken broth. We'll talk more about that later. We've got butter, regular table salt, parsley flakes, and this seasoning salt, which really should be poultry seasoning. We'll talk about that later. And some yellow mustard, which is the secret ingredient. Oh, and celery. Beautiful. Let's continue. All right. So how will we get this started, and how may I be of assistance to you? Well, first we're going to start with the chicken broth. I'm going to get my can opener out of my cabinet here. Beautiful. And we're going to start heating that while we chop some of the vegetables. Now, some people would make their own broth, but I think, you know, nowadays people are into convenience, and I think it's much easier to just go to the store and buy a can. So, I don't know. The purists might make their own and use parts of the turkey and the water. OGs. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think this is better. What do you think? I think in, this, in the name of time, it's definitely a lot more convenient. Yes. But if you have like a day to, to knock out making chicken broth, mm -hmm. I say why not go for authenticity? Go for it. Okay, let's get that going. Now that we've got our broth coming to a rolling boil, what's next on the list? Well, next we're going to cut some bread because for stuffing, you need to get cubes of this white bread. Um, that's going to go into the stuffing. Now, if you were going to do this, <clears throat> for real, you would need to cut this bread probably about three days in advance because this bread should be stale. <laughs> because if you do the white bread as it is today, it will be very mushy. So I actually cut some cubes a couple of days ago and we got them nice and stale. But I'm just going to demonstrate how we, would, how we would cut the bread. Beautiful. Um, you just have to be gentle with it because the bread is so, so light. Um, but if you do this, and for this size recipe, you would need just about a, a loaf, a little more than a loaf of bread. So, okay. Do you know how many people this will serve? Well, this is a really small recipe. This is for a small turkey. I would say probably like a six or eight pound turkey, which most people don't, most people have a lot of people to serve. <laughs> so what I do is I double, triple, quadruple this oh. recipe depending on how big the turkey is. So that this sounds is, very This is how the cube should look. And then we would put them in a paper bag for a couple of days. So I have the, the bread ready to go when, when we're ready. Beautiful. So the next thing we would do is kind of cut up our vegetables. So we've got a yellow onion here. And we need about um, half a cup of onion. OK. Do we need to worry about like crying or anything right no, now? No, no, I don't think the ye this yellow onion won't make you cry. Okay. It's those red onions that make you cry. I don't like that. I You're love right. to eat them. I don't like to cry with them. They're good, but they're not good to cook with. Right. So this we just need to put in, so chop it up. Doesn't have to be any real specific size. Some people like bigger chunks, but. Okay. Um, so we would just cut this up and then. It doesn't have to be like so like fine cut dicing specifically? No, because this okay. is going to get, so when we put it in that broth, these are going to soften up. So you're not going to have like chunks. You're okay. not going to feel like you have chunks of onion. It's really more for flavor. Okay, nice. Um, and do you like to eat stuffing the day of and the next day or just, the, just <laughs> with your like turkey? more like the next week, honestly. <laughs> it lasts a long time, mainly because I'm the only one in my family that likes to eat it. You know, I was one of the only ones who ate it, eat it too. I think one sister, and I would keep eating it for days. It's I mean, it's not really good for you, but it tastes good. It doesn't have to be. It also doesn't stop me. <laughs> okay, so that's probably about a half a cup there. So I think we can go ahead and throw that into your pot. Okay. Here, if you hold that, I'm going to just... There we go. And then we're going to cut some celery. We don't need a whole lot of celery. 
In fact, the recipe just calls for a couple of tablespoons. I, I'd do a little more than that because that does the celery does stay a little crunchy, and I do think that adds a little bit to it. Now, do you dice the celery as well, or do you leave it in such big chunks like that? I'm going to dice it up a little bit, but okay. not a lot. Nice. So tell me about your home life. What was cooking like growing up in the house? Well, we had a lot of people in our house. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't do a lot of cooking at home as a kid. My mom, um, you know, she didn't cook. She didn't really like to cook. Mm -hmm. She would cook because we needed to eat, but she wasn't really a... She didn't, until later in life, she didn't even try to make anything too complicated. We had eight kids, and as long as it was cheap and easy, she would make it. <laughs> you were so one of I, eight kids? Eight kids. What was so that like really trying to compete? I didn't start cooking until, until much later. Okay. What um, was that like trying to compete for your parents' love? It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was very hard. It's okay. Um, so, what are we going to do next? Let's see. Let's bring this to a boil. All right. Set this back on the stove. Um, and then we've got butter here. So we need, um, I think it's about three, three quarters of a cup of butter. So that would be one and a half sticks. Okay. So if you want to put this in there. Yeah. That's just a unwrap salt. the butter. Yeah, if you just unwrap that and throw that in there. Sounds great. And that one. We'll save this for something else. Um, let's see. Now, so I talked earlier about the poultry seasoning. Just by mistake, somebody got um, seasoning salt, which is it's not a big deal except for the fact that the seasoning for Thanksgiving is very particular. There's a lot of sage, a lot of thyme, and that really is what flavors the bread. So that really is your flavor. So it may not taste exactly like it should, but we're going to use it anyway. Um, so that we just do, let's see, about a teaspoon. There. Go ahead and throw these away. Ooh, maybe. Okay. And then we've got some salt, parsley. Got to be careful with the salt when you double the recipe. One time I was making mm. this with my sister, and we got a little distracted, and we were trying to make a triple recipe, and this calls for teaspoon, and we went for tablespoons. Oh. Needless to say, Ooh. it was very salty. <laughs> so be careful on the salt. Um, and then this really, um, the poultry seasoning, two, another teaspoon. No, the, um, sorry, I'm putting more on the, uh, the mustard. So this is the secret recipe. I, I've not met another person who puts French's mustard in their, in their stuffing, but um, my dad worked for French's when we were growing up, and I think it was just something you had to do if you worked there. But it really makes the, the um, stuffing it have a little bit different flavor to it. And I don't, you'd nev you would never know that it's mustard in there, but it's delicious. So, and it gives it a little color, too. It doesn't look as bland. Beautiful. Is that, is that um, burner on? No, it is not. Yeah, so this will get cooking. And then I'm going to throw the parsley in, and that's, that's really all the ingredients that go in this. So it really is simple, and it's very inexpensive to make. So college students, when you want to have your own little Thanksgiving, this would be an excellent stuffing for you to make. So this is sort of almost like the economic Mr. version, because we are in college. Yes, this so. is the economic version. <laughs> like I say, if you want people who put chestnuts or sausage in their stuffing, this would not be what they would like to have. I've never actually tried stuffing with sausage. Well, now people are putting all kinds of things in stuffing, um, even clams and things like that. That doesn't really sound like Thanksgiving to me. Maybe in like New England because they're, yeah, like, they're England. very popular with seafood. Yeah, so. maybe New England that would be good. But nice. yeah, as soon as that starts boiling again, that, all that butter will melt. Now we're going to let that boil for about five minutes. Oh, and I forgot to put the parsley in. I'm going to throw that in now. That's fine. You can get that real quick. Yeah. Now, I understand that your husband, President Mearns, has come to support you tonight. He has. Look at him out there. Huh. Do you two cook together at all? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Do we cook together? <laughs> well, we are together when the food is being prepared. Well, he doesn't like to cook so much. He talks to me while I cook. <laughs> Um, which is good. It's always good to have company when you cook. 
but he's really the grill the grill master in our house. Gotcha. So I'll I'll prep whatever's being grilled, and he I don't touch the grill. He doesn't really like to prep, so we work very well together. That oh, and he does do a mean Friday sandwich. He, that's he, that classic. He does. That is classic. A lot of Friday night dinners when we have been busy all week and we don't really feel like cooking. That's that's always a good Friday sandwich. This is this smells distractingly good. Yes, I've it's going to be admit. delicious. I'm telling you. <laughs> my mother Joan, she made it every year. She passed away last year, and I told my dad today that I was going to be making this in her honor, and he thought it was great. So everybody loved her stuffing, but I think I loved it the most. <laughs> well, she's so. looking down, and she's smiling. At yes, you. she is, and she's saying, that smells delicious. <laughs> so I'd say we give this maybe another minute or two. Um, I don't know. When, when, when President Mearns and I first met, um, he used to cook for me. He did cook some things. He made lasagna. Um, I think barbecue chicken, that was very good. A um, few other things. So we'll have to get you cooking again. Maybe when he retires, that he'll be cooking. <laughs> I hope he doesn't retire too soon. No. I just met the guy. No. Can you see him <laughs> retire? No, I don't think he's ready to retire. He's got a little energy. Yeah, so, that's good. Anyway, we, we, when we vacation, we have big meals and everybody chips in. and so. Glorious. He came from a big family, too. So the two of us, he had nine in his family. I had eight in my family. So when we met, we had a lot of stories to tell about us growing up in those big families. I thought having an older brother was bad. <laughs> yeah, he, he had one brother and seven sisters. Yeah. And I had one brother and six sisters. So you've both been through the ringer in yeah. your families. Yeah. That's OK. They've made you great people today. Yes, they have. How's this looking? I think looks it's as good looking, as it smells, honestly. I think it's looking pretty good. I'd give it another minute to see if we can get these onions and the celery a little bit soft. Um, and then we're going to, what we're going to do with this is I'm going to take out the bread that I cut c several days ago. It is very stale, and that's how it's supposed to be. And the way that I keep it, uh, or I let it get stale, is I put it in a paper bag. So when you cut the cubes like we showed you, put it in a paper bag, let it sit for about three days. Don't worry, it's not going to get moldy. Um, but it will get nice and hard so that when you make your stuffing, it won't get too mushy. Because you want it to, to hold its shape a little bit. It still will be <laughs> mushy, <laughs> don't get me wrong. So. Beautiful. OK, so I think we're about ready to throw this in. I'm going to get a bowl. OK. And How can I be of assistance? Well, if you, why don't you hold the bowl? Um, why don't you put it on the stove, not on the hot burner? Yeah, right here. And then I'm going to throw the breadcrumbs in there, or the bread cubes. Here we go. There. And then? And then basically we're going to pour this over the bread cubes. Here we are. That bowl's going to get hot, so you watch your hands. Yeah, it's okay. And then you can put it down now. And that is literally all we have to do. Mix it up, and then typically we would butter that pan. So you want to grab that butter, that extra butter that we have? Yeah, I can do that. And just um, run it all around the edges there. Yeah. And then maybe keep a little square of that, of just, the butter. Yeah, so we yeah, can put about some. About a tablespoon? Yeah, and okay. then we can, we can throw some on top. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so all you just need to keep stirring the... Um, red cr cubes until all of them are moistened. It takes a little while to okay. get it. Should I butter the edges too? Like yeah. the walls? Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. So again, this would be for a small turkey. If you would like a lot of stuffing, you'd want to double or triple this, and depending on the size of the turkey. Now, some, nowadays, some people don't stuff the turkey because they, they, serve it get worried, they get worried that they're going to have bacteria or something, but I always stuff the turkey. <laughs> Come to think of it, I've never actually had a stuffed turkey. We've always had stuffing on the side. Well, at the end, when, it, when the turkey's done, the first thing you do is take the stuffing out of it okay. and put it in another dish. So you may have had it not knowing that it was in, cooked in the turkey. Hey, is this sufficient right here? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So then I'm going to just throw this in there we are. and smooth it out. There we go. And then we're going to bake this in the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes. 
The mustard actually adds a very vibrant yellow Isn't to it. Isn't it nice? Yeah. I <laughs> love it. Yeah, because sometimes it looks kind of anemic if you don't have mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, I think it's the best way to do it. Beautiful. There we have it. All right. Oh, so Cameron, can you give me that butter? My pleasure. Oh, great. So we have to put a little bit of butter on top of the stuffing. This is just to make it even more delicious. Um, sometimes it'll help it brown a little bit on the top too. Mm -hmm. So I just, this butter is pretty soft at this point. Yeah. Keep it in the fridge when you do it. And then just put some little chunks. Now do you around. mix it in or do you let no, it melt no, on top? No, you just let it on, melt on top. So, Ooh. yeah. So that it, and it makes it look even more delicious too. Yeah, Cause you know that's going to be melting in there. So we just go through. Amazing. I'm going to use my hands. I hope that's okay. It's, it's so soft. It's not really cutting like it would. Just because we're dressed formally doesn't mean we have to be yeah. formal all the time. <laughs> well, and then you get to lick your fingers if you like butter. So I, that's probably, I think we're pretty good on the butter here. So um, I think we're about ready to cook this baby. All right. So. But before we do that, tell me about the very first dish you can remember cooking. Oh, gosh. Like the first real dish. Like some people say like mac and cheese or spaghetti, something well, a little higher class than that. Okay, well, actually, the first dish I made was through home ec at school, and they had you make spaghetti with meatballs, but it was really spaghetti with hot dogs. And it used okay. cream of tomato soup. And I gotta tell you, it was really good. Was and it? so I went home and made it for my family. Okay. So spaghetti with cream of tomato soup as the sauce, and cut up hot dogs as the, hot as, dogs. yes, a little improv. So we're ready to put this in the oven. Yeah. So I'm gonna wipe my hands here. That's fine. Um, okay, if you can open the oven for me. With pleasure. I guess I gotta get a little taller for this one. Okay, good. So we're gonna let that bake for just around 20, 30 minutes, just till it's warm. Okay. All right, let's get these mitts off. Yeah, I think ahead. we're ready to serve this. Yeah. Just mind grabbing the plates? I'll get the plates. I've got the forks. Okay. So I'm gonna make small dishes here so that we have enough for everybody who wants to try it. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Gonna... Yeah, so I was saying this is a little drier than I would like to see it. So maybe, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> it's okay. maybe I put a little too much bread. But you can adjust it based Never. on your own taste. I think it's probably better than being too soggy. I don't know. No <clears> such <throat> thing as too much bread in my world. <laughs> yeah, right. I think in most people's worlds. Yeah. <laughs> bread is a wonderful thing. Oh, need some more plates? Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. Make six. Couple more. That's a little cheap on that one. Uh, Somebody who's on a diet can don't have Don't be one. so stingy. <laughs> there we go. And you know, the day after Thanksgiving, this is so good with your leftover turkey sandwich, and it can be eaten cold. It's just as good. So. They don't need a fork. All right. Anybody ready to try this? Come on. Come on up. There's that one. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone enjoyed their meals. This looks incredible. I can't thank you enough for being be. on this show. Thank you so much for having me. This was just so much fun and having students here watching. This has been great. Thanks so much. And thank you all for watching Slice That Price. Be sure to follow us at Slice That Price on social media. And tune in next time.